Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello everyone and welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is my family. But before we get into any lessons, it's very important grade twos for us to sanitize. Now remember, when we sanitize, we are showing that we are responsible boys and girls. And make sure that when you are done sanitizing, your hands are dry so that you don't touch anything with wet hands. <laughs> For our lesson today, we are going to be talking about counting and problem solving. Our next exercise is going to be found on page 25. On page 25, you can see that we have a number grid, but the number grid is missing some numbers. Oh no! <laughs> it is going to be your job to fill in those missing numbers. Remember, count out loud so you'll be able to fill it in correctly and check with the numbers that are already there on the grid. After you are done with that, you are going to arrange numbers from small to big. Now you need to take a very good look at those numbers and use what I call the organizing system. Let's take a look at the table. Now on my table, I have a few things. On my table, I have the sweet jar, I have my cup, and I have my chalk. We also have the colors. So we want to arrange them from small first to big. So we are going to start with the chalk. That is the smallest. And then we have my cup. But it seems like the jar of sweets is bigger. So we are going to move it and right there, we're going to put the colors. And now you can see that from here, we have small to big. The same can be said when we are talking about big to small. It would now be that the jar of sweets is first and then we will have the colors and then my mug and then we have last but not least the chalk. So we have big to small. So when you're organizing your numbers, check them. We already know which numbers are bigger than others, but you need to take your time and take a look at 
all of them so that you'll be able to find the ones that you're looking for. So number two is from small to big. And then number three is from big to small. Let's now move on to the next exercise on page 26. On page 26, we have what are called problem solving sums. These are so exciting to do grade twos and they need you to listen to yourself when you are reading them. I am not going to help you with all of them, but I'm going to do number four with you. So let us put our finger on number four and look at what we are solving. Now, it says, there are five red balls, two green balls, and one yellow ball. How many balls are there all together? Let's read it again. There are five red balls, two green balls, and one yellow ball. How many balls are there all together? Let's take a look at the board so that we can try and find our answer. So on the board, I have our balls. We have our five red balls, two green balls, and one yellow ball. So we are going to, first of all, find out, are we adding or are we subtracting? Well, we are adding, meaning putting the balls all together. So we can say our red balls plus our green balls plus our yellow ball. Now we need to count them to find out what our answer is. Let's go. Together, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our answer for this one is eight. Now remember at the bottom we want to see how you got your answer. So we will write the number of balls. So we have five plus two plus one equals eight. Very good, grade twos. Now make sure that everything is clear when you're writing on the lines. Take your time and read the question two times before you try and answer it. And remember, you need to find out, are you adding or are you subtracting? And when you do, it will become very, very easy for you. We will be right back after this commercial break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. I hope you enjoyed your lesson today. I know I did. And remember, it's very important for us to also sanitize at the end of every lesson. Remember grade two. Sanitizing means that we are receiving 
fun simple boys and girls. And make sure that you sanitize and also leave your hands to dry before you touch anything else. I wonder though, I haven't seen our friend today. Zoshi, where are you? Oh, there he is. Hello, Zoshi. <laughs> so, from Zoshi and I, we would like to say thank you and goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School and Amos Meerkat Syllabus.